brings us to the next session where we are having another awesome speaker, Karen Squid. Karen is a co-founder and CEO of Livestock Water Recycling. She believes that progress is impossible without change. And that is the powerful idea that inspires her to provide farmers with tools to produce food in a way that will protect and nourish our planet. Floor is your uh, Karen and apologies for a little bit delay and a uh, little bit out of scheduling. I'm, I'm so sorry for that. Sorry. Floor is yours, ma'am. Floor is yours, ma'am. No problem. Thank you for having me here. I'm glad to uh, be listening to all these wonderful speakers. I'm going to share a little uh, presentation that I have to show what we are working on in our business and talk a little bit about what I've been doing in my career. So at Livestock Water Recycling, we make water from manure. And we made this water from manure here on our screen. The most common question I get asked in my everyday life is why manure? How on earth did you look at a manure pond and think that looks like a great source of clean water? Like many new innovations, we started with a bit of coincidence mixed with a little audacity and a lot of good luck. I will tell you a little bit more about where I started and then later on explain what we've done with manure. My goal was and continues to be to facilitate access to plentiful clean water to everyone on the planet. I come from a 20 year water treatment background and this path has led me to my love of manure. I started in university planning to go into medicine because my goal in life was to help people. I took a degree in biology, and while still in university, I took a summer job with an environmental company treating groundwater and wastewater. And I immediately developed a passion for making clean water. When we look at statistics, like only 4% of all water consumed on our planet is recycled for reuse, I really dug into that problem and could see that there was benefit that we could create by recycling more water. And I have continued to see how creating water cleaning technology can help people on a very broad scale in a very impactful way. In my previous commercialization with that environmental company, my co-founder and I were involved with everything from cleaning jet fuel from groundwater under airports like JFK and O'Hare to clear across the US working on hexavalent chromium projects in Hinkley, California. We often say that manure is the most exciting water treatment opportunity to come along in our career. And people laugh at us, but we're serious. Manure is natural and it's organic. And coming from outside the agricultural industry, let us look at manure in a unique way with a unique perspective. When looking at a farm like this, these manure lagoons might look like they are easy, low tech, likely inexpensive, but it turns out they're not that. They are difficult, they're time consuming, they're production limiting, and they're expensive. Across the US, large livestock farms produce 335 million gallons of manure annually to be stored in these lagoons. And with that comes problems for farmers and the food industry like emissions, runoff, and large expenses. What we quickly discovered is that this manure is dilute. It's actually, these manure lagoons actually only contain 5% manure solids and 95% water. What we really have been doing isn't just cleaning water. We have hacked into the problems with this dilute liquid to find out what insight and value that manure can provide us. We are modernizing manure management. Along with discovering how much water was trapped inside manure lagoons, we also found out the expense involved in these liquids to move and land spread this, and farmers have to deal with it every year. A dairy farm with 2,500 cows produces as much liquid waste as a city with over 400,000 people and can spend almost three quarters of a million dollars each year managing that dilute liquid. 
Overall, when we looked at these lagoons and even floated boats across them, we saw a water treatment market that was vastly underserviced. And most importantly, we saw an opportunity to create value from water treatment that we had never seen before. With that value in mind, we developed a system to be installed on farm to receive liquids directly from the barns before they ever went to a lagoon. The first stage involves a biodegradable flocculant to pull 5% of those solids out of the liquid stream. These solids contain nitrogen, organic nitrogen and all of the phosphorus in manure. The second stage extracts out the ammonium, potassium, magnesium, and other valuable micronutrients. And we are left with up to 75% clean potable water to be used anywhere on the farm. Those manure solids contain all of the essential nutrients required by plants and crop growth. It is essential for the resilience of our food system that we regenerate our soils and bring all of this nutrient back to our soil that grows our food. Our system allows us to be extracted from manure streams, and it was this that creates value from water treatment. We manufacture the system in five models, depending on the farm size. And what distinguishes us is our system runs from sensors and machine learning algorithms. It can run from a cell phone, so it doesn't increase your farm labor requirements. And of course, it recycles that clean potable water. Our systems are all connected. They're connected within the farm to all aspects of your farming operation. And then they're all connected to our office so we can monitor daily operations. All the data is accumulated and analyzed. Data from our system sensors is used to op optimize operations and benchmark the systems. And then it is made available as actionable data dashboards to our clients. In this way, we have begun the process of digitizing the world's manure. We have created a wonderful app that provides farms with real-time information from their manure to bring it to its best possible end use. As I have evolved within my career, my goal of providing clean water for all has brought me to the realization that in order to fully clean and recycle all of the world's wastewater, we need to digitize it. Today, we work within a beautiful circular economy, working together with food producers to recycle natural fertilizers, sink carbon on farms, and recycle clean water. We work on all kinds of manure and biosolid waste, including all livestock production, like dairy, hog, and beef production, as well as poultry and egg wash processing, and then importantly, meat processing and biogas development. We have sold systems across 10 US states and internationally into the Middle East, the UK and the European Union. Most predominantly now we work in mixed waste where we work together with biogas producers to create full value propositions. By hacking manure into its component parts, we have been able to unlock all of the value. For example, each year, one cow can produce 100 gallons of fuel. This is so impactful, considering there are 1 billion cows on the planet. Renewable natural gas allows our farms to engage with the energy markets to create additional revenue while producing fuel for the economy that is considered carbon negative. This fuel can displace traditional fuel sources and really help our environment. In addition to creating renewable gas, of course, we create value from our natural fertilizers. Our goal with our system installations was to model our fertilizer work after the success of other recycled materials like paper waste. We want to make recycling manure fun, profitable, mainstream, and worldwide. Just to show a quick couple examples of the value we create through this circular economy, I have a farm that has been running our system since 2015. He wanted to double the herd size of his dairy without digging a new lagoon or adding more land. By installing our system, he has reduced his manure expenses, increased his feed crop production by precision applying his nutrients. He has improved his herd health by flushing the barns with clean water instead of lagoon water. And he has reduced his overall expenses on his farm. 
Plus, he is unlocking all the value that was trapped in his lagoon and is packaging and selling these fertilizers for additional revenue. He sells his Bucky Bloom product retail uh, in store shelves and to greenhouses. He calls himself an entrepreneur. And of course, and of course, he has that clean water for recycling and reuse that you can see he and his son drinking here. That water is making a global impact. On our farm in Lebanon, where there has been a massive impact, we can see through the farm's excellent reuse of water and fertigation, completely transforming part of their land. Soil holds approximately 20,000 gallons more water per acre for every 1% of carbon that's added. So recycling that organic material back onto the land can greatly improve soil health. We've heard people today talk about regenerative agriculture, and this is an exact case of where that has been so impactful. Now we talk today about manure as nutrient and organic fertilizer and content for the circular economy. We talk about our farms as land for carbon sequestration. Globally, we are seeing so much momentum building with many green recovery plans worldwide. We were recently awarded a top spot on the Food Tech 500 list, number 31, which was the top spot for any Canadian company. This year, our farms are on pace to recycle a billion gallons of manure globally. Our challenge is to continue to show that we can create value from water treatment that feeds into the circular economy and into the economy that feeds all of us. In doing this, we can directly impact 10 of the UN Sustainable Development Goals, including access of women and girls to the agriculture economy and to clean water. Women and girls are the most heavily impacted by water, uh, by water impacts, um, by water pollution, and by lack of access to clean water. So it's very important for me as a female founder to focus on this goal as a benefit to women and girls worldwide. Thank you so much today for having me. I'm happy to answer any questions and um, please reach out to connect. Uh, you can find me on LinkedIn or send me an email. Thanks a lot, Karen, for a really insightful presentation. And uh, I believe uh, both water and uh, manure are key for future of this world and what else than agriculture to support it for very simple reason uh, water uh, agriculture is the only activity which draws 70 percent of groundwater withdrawals right and, and if we are able to use water and uh, reuse water i'll say that uh, we would be in a safer hand and we would have a planet which is more sustainable so, so thanks thanks for sharing this beautiful concept and idea my question is that how uh, relevant to technology could be in the uh, developing world, especially Africa and Asia. I'll just give you an example of my own country, India. We are, we are already having uh, close to 300 million cattle, right? 150 of million of them uh, milch cattle and the remaining 150 typically non-milch cattle. Now, do you see that uh, such technologies would add a lot of value because uh, unfortunately the production of milk is growing in our country? And that is putting a lot of stress on the farmers. And if we have this alternative uh, RNG and manure as a revenue opportunity, that can be a huge benefit. So what's your views to deploy this technology in developing world? It's really exciting for us right now as we've seen different, different um, people from all over the world contact us and talk to us about and teach us really about how we can apply our experience and our technology into various parts of the world. Uh, very surprisingly, we've had calls from every country in the world contacting us through our website and through LinkedIn to engage with us and give us an indication of how this process can be used. We're, what we're seeing in the developing world is around decentralizing energy production. 
where developing nations can produce their own energy locally and from their waste products. If we can be part of a recycling system that creates energy in every aspect of the, in every country of the world, as well as then afterwards creating clean water from that energy production, that really excites us to be part of a, a whole circular economy in every country. Um, recently, we've seen issues in China where there have been disease um, problems with respect to their their hog herds. And that as well has broadened their look for where to grow, um, would grow their livestock into countries that hadn't traditionally grown livestock for China, which gives opportunity to different countries globally and in the developing countries to grow livestock, to sell that, export that into China. So as well, you know, we are seeing countries all over um, Russia and, and Eastern Europe and then other, other developing countries looking to start livestock operations for export and to create better economy within their country. So if we can do that while allowing there to be clean water production um, and then they can grow uh, feed crops locally, I think decentralizing the food system in the world is, is just an exciting prospect for us. Awesome. Thanks. Thanks, Karen, a lot. It was a pleasure having you as a speaker. And uh, offline, I'll touch base with you. We work in Africa and Asia extensively. So would, would, would love to explore where we can partner and bring this beautiful technology which save the earth, replenishing it with better soil and water. Thanks. Thanks. Pleasure having you. Thank you so much.